Good morning, guys. How are we? Doug! You made it. I've been looking for you everywhere, buddy. Where you going? Alright, guys. Today. A lot's been going on. Hang on, I'll throw this for Doug first. Go on. Go get it. <laughs> okay, guys. So, a lot's been going on. Um... The yard's starting to fill up a bit, which is good. Starting to take... We've got a few few big contracts coming up, so... I've got some sand delivered. Uh, we've had... I've brought some leftover dirt from the, the pond build, or the lake. Well, Cat was kind enough to lend us this to see how it goes. 395. So pretty stoked to be... Uh, have the opportunity of them sending it out to us. And we've got a lot of clay. So I've got a fella that's uh, doing a job, I don't know, a couple of kilometers down that way. And they hit a massive, massive bit of clay. And uh, I put out in the notice board, the local notice board saying, we need some clay for this dam. So where we, um, where we dug out with the rock. Okay. Okay, Doug. One more. Go. <laughs> so where we dug out for the rock, uh, you can't actually build a pond on rock because they have rocks have veins in them and it's a bit sedimentary as well. So they could have slither, slithers, so water will run between the cracks of the rock. So we have to seal it up with that clay. We've had a lo load delivered down there. Okay, another one. Gee whiz. Come and pick it up. There we go. There you go, mate. Uh, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go take down a smaller dozer. We'll take down this Kamatsu. We might take him down first. Uh, yeah, we'll take him down first. We took delivery as well of a blacked out Cat 325 and a Cat 299D, which is, which is pretty pretty cool. So they'll be in uh, they'll be in future jobs. Even got a mulch ahead for the for the excavator, which is pretty sick. Tilt hitch two. All right, I think first things first, we'll load up this. We'll load up this uh, Kamatsu. All right, that's warming up. We'll head over and we'll fire up the Kenworth. Oh, first, first pop. Beautiful. Uh, we had a few big rains. We've pumped it all out now, and we put in a new overflow for the pond as well. So what they go is the silt from the pond dig has uh, gone into the crops. So we got some silt, some silt fence, and we chucked all that on. Um, and hopefully now the farmer doesn't get any more uh, silt from our dig in there. All right, we'll whack this on. A little dose of this. Picked it up second hand. Pretty cheap. Not really an oversized load, but hey. She's a little weapon. Alright, that's all loaded up. Ready to go. The trailer's a little bit overkill for this thing, but hey. We might be able to bring one of the machines back. Okay, also, we got some rocks as well delivered. We picked out a nice couple. Um, we picked out a nice couple that we left on site to use around the island. The owner's pretty happy with that. So, we'll see. Once we get down there, we'll see. He reckons he's marked out the rest of the dam where he wants it to end. And we'll try and work to his spec, because uh, the customer's always right. Alright, now you guys can see that we've put the silt fence up. Save his crops, and so it doesn't go... There's an actual river that runs along the back of that uh, crop there, guys. So we had to put some stuff down, uh, that silt tape down, just so we don't get any um, 
any silt or debris coming from our job site into the local local river because the cancer will definitely have our ass. Here we go. She's a little mini. We might uh, chuck her inside the hole. I will chuck her down inside the hole. Okay, so that was a little pathway down. It's a little bit steep. We're gonna have to get the moxie in the hole to drop this clay we've had delivered to cover up this rock. I'll, once we get down there, I'll show you, show you what we've done. Perfect. Okay, so this is our problem area. Right here is where we hit the rock vein. Went straight through the guts. Couldn't believe it. Alright, park her up. Done. So this is where we hit the rock vein all the way through. We picked out some choice boulders from the rock breaking. Left them there. Most of these will probably be hidden underwater. We've got a few more back at the yard just to, to pretty it all up. I wanted to chuck a few more around here. This is our overflow. Which go which is gonna be filtered uh, and it's gonna go directly to the river. Just uh, it's probably about a hundred meters that way. Alright, so now the landscapers have been in, they helped us put these rocks in, and they've left a whole lot of timber and pavers and bits and pieces of metal. These logs, because they're going to build a log bridge, which is pretty cool. Um, and there's going to be, I think this timber here is going to be for, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a pier off the end here, which is pretty rad. So yeah, so we've got some clay, which is at the yard. We've had a load dumped here as well. Just over there, you can see it. And that will be spread out over our problem areas where we think that water's going to leak through the bottom of this dam. So these are our markers. I'm pretty sure we should get this done today. There's not a lot of digging left. It's actually looking pretty good. So from what I can tell from these marks is this is where he wants the islander finished. And I'm pretty sure he wants, I'm looking at it, he wants all this out to these pins here. All right, well, uh, let's get, let's crack straight into it. Better warm this bad boy up first. And the moxie. Right, let's get stuck into it, guys.
Okay, guys. Looks like it's the last load before we have to start putting some clay in the bottom here to cover up this rock. Hopefully that time lapse wasn't too long for you guys. Been digging for a little while now. <laughs> last bit of this stuff in. And then we'll uh, load some clay up. See how we go. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. If uh, if you do, make sure you leave a like, guys. It takes two seconds to click. Leave us a like, and it helps out the algorithm, and uh, you know, it gets me seen in other people's feeds. Yeah. All right. The rest of this soil now we can just spread out and cut in for our ramp. Move this uh, this digger over to the clay pile. We're gonna have, actually have to bring in some more clay. I think I don't think there's enough here. I reckon we're gonna need probably another load. Let's see how we go. Drop this uh, last load off, and then it will be uh, probably going to be tomorrow's job. Actually, chucking in the clay. It's getting late in the day now. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. morning guys I got that digger this morning we're gonna load up the Kenworth looks like Doug's roaming around we'll grab the Kenworth and we'll load it up some clay and we'll head to the site Alright, she's now nice and warmed up. Let's go load up some dirt. Clay for the job. All right, let's get the trailer done. All right, we're all loaded. I'll see you guys at the job site. Do we risk going down there? Might save us some time. Let's give it a shot. Alright, we'll see if we can get this trailer 
I don't want to put it just down at one end. I reckon that might do for the trailer right there. Perfect. I will try, try and do a spread. Look at that. We're going to definitely need more in here. But it saved us uh, double handling, that's for sure. Alright, perfect. Alright, warm this bad boy up. Alright, they're both warmed up now. Get a couple of loads. I reckon this would be only like one or two loads, maybe that we need in there. This side, this side, we did pretty well with the spread, so we'll see. and we'll um, spread some on the other side first. There's, there's a fair bit there. I reckon we just need to back this in here. There we get. Perfect. the other load under here and we're done. Perfect. All right, we'll get the little dozer, push that around, grab the roller, smack it in, and should be ready to go.
Alright, seems to be uh, all covered nearly. We'll push this last little bit out and then uh, we can head to the other side. Okay guys, now we're going to uh, punch that clay in, stiffen it all up, get a good base going and uh, seal, the, uh, seal the rock up, see how we go. I'm really happy how that turned out. Looks real good. Okay, we're about, we're about to have like a week off, guys. Um, so the landscapers can finish off their, their bridge and their little house. And, uh, yeah, by then, I think we're going to have like a massive rain, like a couple of hundred mil. Um, we're just heading into the wet, wet season, so we may even see some water. Uh, we may even see some water in here. So the landscapers are gonna they're gonna turf it and put a few more rocks in, a bridge, and a little hut with a, with a jetty. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll come back in a week and see where it's at. All right, guys. Finally, we've had some good weather. It's about two weeks from when we last dug the uh, the dam out, the pond. The landscapers are finished. Um, pretty much all the machines are floated back, but Bobcat. Um, we'll head down to the job now. We'll have a look what they've done. Um, so the landscapers have put the rest of the rocks in. They've done a log bridge. They've put a couple of little sheds on. The sparkies have been put some lights in, and uh, yeah, I think all that's needed to be done is remove the bobcat now, um, the site shed, and a few other bits and pieces, which we can do that behind the scenes anyway. Um, but yeah, apparently it's all done. But we had in the last two weeks we've had 200 mil of rain, um, so guess what? The overflow is working. She's uh, shock as the dam. I'll see you guys when we're there. Okay, you guys ready to see this absolute awesome bit of masterpiece we've done? Look at that. Jeez, the landscape has done a good job. Oh, they've even put a seed in, it looks like. Let's go have a look. The owner's very, very happy. All right. 
park here because the turf isn't ready to drive on yet. So here it is. Completed. Very depth. How good's that? Awesome log bridge. A couple of landscape rocks. Perfect. Little outhouse. Little shack. Oh, look at this. I might have a seat in here. Listen to that. Nothing but nature. Unbelievable. And we got ourselves a jetty we can fish off. Or jump off. Well, that uh that overflow is perfect. That's uh not gonna get any deeper than that guys. Okay guys, that's episode three complete, and guess what? The lake's done. So behind the scenes I'm gonna remove all these temp fencing, the silt barriers, the site shed, the the uh container, bobcat, all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start the new road job, which is gonna lead into the back of our yard. If you enjoyed the episode, guys, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Any questions, please leave a comment below. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.